Hello everyone, Mike Wilson, Adam Sparks. We are here at Neyland Stadium for the final time this season where Tennessee just completed a perfect home slate, 7 0, first time since 2007. Seven. The Vols have done that. Uh, impressive win, 66 to 24. Tennessee really demolished uh, Missouri, especially late. Adam, how important was Tennessee playing this way, winning this way after a week ago at Georgia with that loss? Yeah, I mean, I think what it did is it sort of put the Georgia game in kind of its own category. Uh, before the Georgia game, Tennessee looked like the best offense in the country, a team that could put up 50 or 60 on just about anybody. Um, and that narrative was kind of put on hold, I think, in the Georgia game. You leap over the Georgia game and come to this one, this game looked like everything that Tennessee did before, and, and even then some, because there were a number of records broken in this game that that, that, that topped what their performances were early in the season. I, and, and I wrote this, I think this shows the Georgia game was more the exception than the rule. And, uh, you know, in terms of playoff um, rankings, Tennessee was viewed as a top four, really a number one team before the Georgia game. Obviously, it's not that now because the loss of Georgia. But I think it, it, it does make the case that what the committee thought the balls were, they actually still are. Yeah, now Tennessee, 724 total yards program record. 66 points, program Mo record in SEC play in yep. the modern era. Yeah. Since 1933? Yep, yep. As long yep. as the SEC's been in existence, and third highest third point total against any team uh, mm -hmm. in the modern era. You know, we don't go back to the, like, 150 yes, points yeah. things, all that. But, yeah, yeah. Well, this, is, this is the best we've seen this offense. But, actually, I would say, and you and I talked about this during the game, this was a this was an imperfect performance. Mm -hmm. I mean, this there was not drops for halftime. Yeah. Offensive line was pretty bad at, at various points. Yeah, I mean, first half this looked like a pretty close game, and the, and the score showed that. And it, at some point, it flipped. I mean, what, what do you think made it flip? Tennessee decided it's the better team yeah. by a long shot, and 38 straight points. Yeah, I mean, that was the wild one. Started with the Jalen Hyatt touchdown. That really got Tennessee rolling. What do you think that said just about this team and? In terms of a statement, what they showed with, I mean, 38 straight points in a half is pretty wild to see. I think it shows, again, if they're not playing a Georgia caliber mm -hmm. defense. I mean, because here's the thing, Missouri is a really good defense. They're a top 20 defense, top three or four in the SEC. If they're not playing the absolute cream of the crop, they can flip the switch on. Jalen Hyatt said that we had to flip a switch. Mm -hmm. And when they needed it, they flipped it. And uh, in terms of play calling and talent and execution and all that, uh, they can do that. They can be mediocre in a game and just hit a new height just like that. And, uh, the, you know, they'll be able to do that in these next two games. And, uh, you know, then comes the postseason and where they go, that, that'll, that you know, we'll see if they can get to that next level. Yeah, Missouri was allowing 304 yards per game entering Saturday, Tennessee 724. So Josh Heupel did a little bit of watch this, see what can happen real quick. Hendon Hooker, four touchdowns, had a really tough performance at Georgia, but a really good one today. Where does that put him, kind of that, that Heisman mix, and, and what, what kind of senior day was this for him with the band and, and all the various things he took part in? Yeah, I mean, when the day started, it's rainy and it's cold. You think mm -hmm. this is going to be sort of a downer in terms of the atmosphere. The weather actually cleared out a little bit, and, and his play cleared out quite a bit compared to the week before. Uh, yeah, more than 400 yards of total offense. He showed it with his legs today in some ways he hasn't lately. Um, and then obviously with his arm, uh, four touchdowns overall, three through the air, one on the ground. Um, he showed, again, what, what he was before the Georgia game, yeah. which was a Heisman front runner or at least a top three. He's a guy that's on the ballot right now. And the fact is, with the Heisman, nobody seems to really want to grab it right now um, this season. And there's not a clear-cut, surefire guy. Some of that has to do with the fact that Georgia, the best team in the country, doesn't have a obvious candidate. And so it's it's up in the air, and Hidden Hooker did everything that I think he could to, to grab it and at le least make his case for it. Stay tuned to Go Vols Extra and Knox News for all the latest on Hedden Hooker's Heisman campaign, Tennessee's college football playoff push, and more heading into the two final regular season games.